Hey guys, welcome back today. Real quick, I just want to go over some of these so sine, cosine, tangent stuff. As you guys work through this, again, I am not going to do your warm-up for you anymore. I'm going to make you guys do that, and then we'll go over some similar problems. So here's a similar problem. Let's look at the cosine of z here. All right, so here's our angle z, and we need the cosine. So cosine is going to fall under what? Cosine is going to be r adjacent over our hypotenuse. I know you guys are saying it with me. Right, so here is our adjacent side right here. Here's our hypotenuse. Adjacent 30 over our hypotenuse, which is 50. That is not simplified. I know I can take 10 out of both sides here, and I'll finish with 3 fifths. And that is my answer here as my cosine. I could plug it in and get the calculation of six of, of basically 60 or 0.6, um, but I don't need to do that. All right, here's a sine problem, which is going to be our so... The beginning right so we need to find the opposite of angle x which is our 24 over the hypotenuse which is 30 so we go 24 over 30 we'll have to simplify it let's take a 6 out of each one we get 4 over 5 is our answer so that is complete that is your answer here last but not least we have our tangent problem here Tangent is the TOA part, opposite over the adjacent. So when we look at the opposite of A, it's going to be 35. The adjacent of A is going to be 12. So 35 over 12. Let's simplify this real quick. All right, when we simplify this, uh, we can take, uh, what can we take out? Hmm, 35. We can't simplify it anymore, huh? So that's our final answer there as well is, is right here as our answer there. Anyways, with that, hopefully this kind of helps a little bit. Today I want to talk a little bit about the inverse. So when we use the inverse, how do we use the inverse, right? So here's exactly how we use the inverse. We still use the Soka Toa part, right? And what we have to do is we have to see, okay, well, what angle are they looking for? And then what information do they give? So they're looking for the opposite and the hypotenuse. So this is going to be sine. Now, there's not an easy way for us to do this in our head, but we do have an easy way in our calculator. So the first thing you guys are going to do when you guys clear the memory is you guys are going to push second cosine, or excuse me, second sine. Forgot what I was doing there. All right, and then you guys are going to plug in the 8 over 9. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you guys a uh, degree measure for that angle at the bottom and that's using the opposite so I came up with 62.7 degrees all right and that's a, an easy way for us to kind of see this and to work through it right so when we look at the next one the next one's going to be our cop part we're going to take our it's adjacent to the angle so again we're going to hit this is our cosine here all right and it's the inverse just like the sine was the inverse so we're going to go second on our calculators all right, cosine, which is going to be like cosine to the negative 1 is what the button will actually be. And then we're going to plug in our information of 13 over 28. And as I join in in doing this, all right, I get a degree measure of 62.3. All right, and the directions will give you guys how many decimal places to go to. All right, and this is the time where we will use practically just the calculators to solve a lot of this. But it is something that can definitely help us as we kind of get going. All right. For Friday, I want you guys to kind of review our special right triangles. And I want you guys to make sure that we're comfortable with that as we start going forward and uh, look at our trigonometry ratios and our special right triangles. All right. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys ask. And I want to make sure that you guys are comfortable with this before we get going. I know we're a little bit behind where the other classes are, but I know that you guys uh, are working really hard and we're getting caught up. All right. But I, I, I do know that. Anyways, have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.